friends, today I'm gonna show you how to instantly save money by giving you 20 cheap plant-based foods that are low on cost and high in nutrition. Hey beautiful people, it's Melissa from Choosing My Health where I teach you how to easily transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive. In my previous video, I shared like nine easy tips for how to shop vegan and plant-based and save money on your groceries. Check that out if you haven't, that link and all the other recipes that I'm gonna mention are gonna be in the description box below. Now in this video, I'll break down these 20 foods into plant-based food categories so you could pick and choose from to stock your fridge and your pantry and create nutritionally balanced meals. Speaking of stocking your pantry, if you'd like even more ideas about the types of foods to buy, check out my pantry must-haves video. Keep in mind that while the prices I share may vary by location, shopping in season will help you get even cheaper prices. This list will also help you meal plan. I wholeheartedly believe that eating plant-based is a guaranteed way to increase your health and you shouldn't have to go broke doing it, all right? So you ready? Let's go. <laughs> The first food category is fruit. Fruit tastes amazing and is an excellent source of essential vitamins and minerals and is high in fiber. However, fruit is something that can easily hike your bill if you're not intentional on making cheaper fruit your staple versus pricier ones. So here's your run up for the cheapest fruit. <laughs> Bananas are a fantastic cheap food coming in at around 60 cents per pound. They're high in potassium, which helps regulate fluid balance and muscle contractions. Bananas are a really easy snack for any time of the day and work as an excellent base for smoothies. They're also nice and sweet and are a great sub for eggs and sugar in many recipes. Okay. Have any of y'all been to a barbecue without watermelon? There's a reason it's so popular, because it's cheap. Coming in at about 125 a pound, sometimes cheaper, they're abundant and phenomenally delicious. In fact, one watermelon could feed like the whole family for several days. They're also packed with nutrients and their high water content keep you super hydrated, especially when it's hot. <laughs> There are many types of apples, but some of the cheaper varieties like Gala's and Red Delicious average about 150 a pound, give or take. The combination of water and fiber in apples make them incredibly filling. I love them paired with nut butter or just as is, especially when they're nice and crisp. <laughs> An immune boosting vitamin C powerhouse, oranges are cheap. They come in at about 130 a pound and taste yummy in veggie juices, smoothies, salads. My husband even likes to use the zest when he makes his amazing tofu. I also like to dry the orange peel and use them in homemade teas and breakfast porridges. <laughs> a pound, cantaloupe is a cheap fruit you can lavishly enjoy, especially during summer months. The vitamin C and potassium in cantaloupe are essential for heart health and they're 90% water, which means they're amazingly hydrating. You can enjoy them as is or even grilled on some skewers. In my book, pears are pretty underrated. They don't get enough love. At about 130 a pound, you can use them in just about anything and when you let them ripen, they're juicy and delish. They're also full of essential vitamins and minerals, and they're a low glycemic fruit option for diabetics. Now the bulk of my diet, hands down, is veggies. You can steam them, bake them, stew them, saute, eat them raw, like the sky's the limit. Like, I don't even have to tell you how awesomely nutritious they are, but I am because they're phenomenal. They fight inflammation, improve blood pressure, uh, they reduce the risk of heart disease, they help your eyes, they help you lose weight, they keep your brain young. I mean, so many good things for you. Here are the cheapest ones on my list. The king of food seasoning. Onions are a power pack with flavor and a little goes a long way. These bad boys are cheap, coming in at about a dollar a pound and are chock full of antioxidants that protect against heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Here's a little fun fact. 
Red and yellow onions are richer in antioxidants than any other type. In fact, yellow onions may contain almost 11 times more antioxidants than the white ones. So, whenever possible, I opt for one of these. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> About 60 cents a pound, potatoes are a low price staple that's incredibly nutritious and they make meal planning so much easier. I mean, you can make mashed potatoes, hash browns, roasted potatoes, potato salad. I even use them to make my easy nacho cheese recipe that is pretty darn good. Broccoli is a budget-friendly vegetable that has just about every nutrient the body needs. It averages about 160 a pound, but you can find them during summer months for about less than a dollar a pound. And don't throw out the stems. You can eat them or use them to make veggie broth. You can even batter them in some breadcrumbs, bake, and eat them with a the yummy sauce. At about $1.70 a bunch, kale is a cheap superfood. Uh, that is loaded with cancer-fighting antioxidants like quercetin and beta-carotene that deeply nourish the body. You can enjoy kale and green smoothies, vegetable juices, soups, salads. You can even bake them for kale chips. Also, don't throw out the stems. You can eat them as is, but if they're a little too earthy for you, just juice them. When I think of cheap veggies, carrots usually come to mind. You can get about a pound for 70 cents, but a lot of times for even less. Carrots are high in beta carotene, which is good for your skin and also lowers uh, bad cholesterol and improves your eyesight. I love to juice carrots and roast them as an excellent side dish. Coming in at about 60 cents a pound, cabbage is cheap, lasts long in the fridge, and is abundant. I love using it to fill in my salads and love, love making cabbage steaks. Simply cut the cabbage in thick circular slices, season the top and the bottom, and bake for a divine side dish. It also keeps inflammation in check and improves digestion. <laughs> Definitely get asked this question a lot. Should I buy dried beans or canned beans? The answer depends on what factors matter most to you. If you're looking to save time in the kitchen, canned is the way to go. But if you're looking for the healthier option, dried definitely wins due to the potentially high sodium content in canned beans. And if you're considering costs, then the winner is hands down dried legumes. So let's look at the cheapest dried legume options. <laughs> Lentils boast so many benefits. They're plentiful, they're fast to prepare, and they come in at about $1.10 a pound for dried lentils. They have a rich, nutty flavor and come in many color varieties, red, green, black, and brown. Lentils are high in protein, about 18 grams per cup of cooked lentils. They're also rich in folate, niacin, calcium, magnesium, and more. I mean, I use them in soups, stews, loaves, and they make an excellent stuffing for savory pies. Beans are the perfect budget-friendly food. Coming in at about $1.30 a pound, beans are a staple because they're one of the highest sources of plant-based protein. They stretch far and are extremely versatile. From patties to stews, loaves to spreads, you can make so many different delicious meals. And the cheapest varieties I found are pinto beans, black beans, and navy beans. Whole grains are a powerhouse of nutrients ranging from proteins, B vitamins, trace minerals, and they're an easy way to reduce the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and some cancers. They're also so comforting when paired with a healthy plant-based protein and some veggies. The cheapest and most versatile ones in my book are the following. Brown rice is a budget-friendly, nutrient-dense whole grain that provides B vitamins and minerals, healthy carbs, and is enjoyed all around the world. At about $2 a pound, it's an excellent staple to add to your diet because it's easy to prepare, it's deliciously filling, and can be eaten with curries, stews, enjoyed in stir fries, and patties. You can even make a yummy breakfast porridge. So many ways to enjoy rice. Oatmeal is one food 
My house can't be without. There are so many ways to use it and it's affordable, about $2 a pound. Plus, it's nutritious, helps keep you full and can improve blood sugar control. Though many people uh, eat oats as a creamy breakfast porridge, you can use it in patties and loaves, overnight oats. You can make oat flour, oat milk. Oats are always good to have on hand. Now for the plethora of nutrition you can get from this high protein superfood, it's pretty low cost. It's about $4.50 a pound and sometimes cheaper. It's full of essential amino acids. It offers iron, zinc, potassium, calcium, and vitamin E. Though quinoa is really a seed, it's eaten like a grain, so you can cook it the way you would rice, except cooking time is much shorter, that's a plus. Plus, it stretches pretty far and works nicely as a side dish. Add it to salad, veggie burgers, there are so many uses. Small and mighty, nuts and seeds are an incredibly healthy addition to the plant-based diet. They're a powerful source of protein, healthy fats, fibers, and provide lots of energy. There are a few that are pretty inexpensive, and these are the ones you should take advantage of. Sunflower seeds are a staple in my home because they pack great health benefits like protein, fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, and they're budget friendly, coming in at about $3.50 a pound for raw shelled kernels. While $3.50 may not sound cheap, when compared to nuts, which can sell for as much as $9 a pound, this is pretty inexpensive. Remember, you're only using a little at a time, so they can stretch really well. And sunflower seeds have a nutty taste, and they're a great alternative to those who have nut allergies. I commonly use them to supplement or replace cashews if I need to stretch the dollars, because you know, cashews are not cheap. As for sunflower seeds, you can use them to make salads, snacks, crackers, butter, even milk. Black seeds are a cheap food with a fairly low price coming in at $4 a pound for ground flax seeds. In comparison to chia seeds and hemp seeds, they are the least expensive seeds to buy, but are the highest source of ALA omega-3 fatty acids more than any other food. A little goes a long way. They make a phenomenal egg substitute and add a nice uh, nutty flavor to smoothies. Peanut butter is a fantastic cheap food and an excellent protein source. You can usually find an 18 ounce bottle averaging about $3.50. Peanut butter pairs really well with apples for a quick snack. It's awesome for making peanut sauces and can even stand as an oil replacement in many recipes. I hope this list was helpful, that you're now more aware of the plethora of cheap plant-based food options out there, and that you're more empowered to be intentional about eating a variety of life-giving plant-based foods for a nutritionally balanced diet made up of fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. Okay, so what are your favorite cheap plant-based foods? Please comment and let us know. Also, to learn more about how to easily transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive, please subscribe to my channel. I share recipes, encouragement, and plant-based education. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram at Choosing My Health. Now, if you're new to this whole food plant-based thing, welcome. Check out my free gift for you, packed with nearly 20 years of my life-tested strategies to boost your game for the win. Links are all in the description box below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you have an amazing day. I love y'all, and I already look forward to seeing you in the next one. Red and yellow onions are richer in antioxidants than any other type. In fact, yellow. <laughs> yellow and red. <laughs> I'm so, so cool. Ah, I'm cool. Yep. Say it.